Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4E, and welcome uh, back to Stranded Alien Dawn. And we have an expedition I would like to go check out. Something about thin smoke. All right. Um, so we're gonna send. Uh, we're gonna send Kenny Boy. Send old Kenny Boy. All right. So what are, what is our agenda today? All right. So our agenda today is to get all these trees chopped down, and then I would like to make a crafting room. I don't know of any. I, I don't know like. The kind of like size or anything okay so i don't know the size i don't know how this crafting room is going to look but let's see what we need for the crafting room so we're going to need room for a workbench a soldering bench and a tailoring bench um we'll also need room for oil presses probably the barrels will go in there anything else and storage i think that's about it uh i kind of want to do something a little bit you know different but I don't know, man. Like, rectangle rooms seem to be really, really efficient. <laughs> so, I, I don't know exactly. Um, I would also like to get the the storage... Well, actually, never mind. The storage is in the middle of the storage room. I want the storage in the middle of the storage room. So, when people come from here, they go right there. When people come from here, they go right there. I want this stuff as in the middle of the storage room as possible. All right. It is raining, and that sucks. We uh, don't have uh, the materials we need for things. Nobody's doing science. Is that a problem? Not at the moment, but might be pretty soon. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll let it go for now. Also, I think about where I want to put the batteries. I definitely don't want a battery room. I might just keep the batteries in here. So, and um, two seems to be working for me, so I'm just going to leave it at two. And that's about uh, where we are. Why are you not doing... Oh, she's cooking. Okay. Yeah, you need to stop cooking and harvest shit. Uh, maybe I should put her cooking on after... Mm. Uh, I don't like having my farm person being my cook. <laughs> I really don't, but... You know, it makes sense, right? So we're gonna... We'll just we'll just control her by hand for a little bit. The thing is, I have her cooking a lot of dinners. Oh, we don't have any din... Whoa. Okay, maybe I should have her cook. Alright, I think we gotta make, have someone else cook then. Uh, You're eating. Alright, Rock, you're gonna stay up and cook. I don't know if he, um, actually he might not be able to cook, right? Alright, forget it. Just come in here and cook. What do you want to cook? Veggie soup? Sounds good to me. And then you, my friend, will go to sleep. Okay. Yeah, I ran out of meals, man. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Probably because I keep having to go do farming. The thing is, this stuff needs to get done. This is important. Kind of annoyed I sent Ken on an expedition. I really could have used them. But we'll see. Uh, he'll be back soon. Maybe he'll get us uh, another person. Who knows? I have no idea how you get new people, so... Fatigue, too tired, so you passed out. Eh, she'll be fine. Alright. Um, I found a small campfire with some embers still glowing in the ash. Someone was here not long ago. Shout, maybe they'll hear you. I shouted and walked around for a bit, but nothing happened. I don't think it's a good idea to... Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! So is that thing going to be gone now, or what? I don't know. Are all the floors done? Yeah, the floors have been completed. This place is looking great. Gonna wait for Ken to come back, and I need to I need to fix my my cooking situation. The problem is my cooking my cook needs to do nothing but cook at this point, and I need someone to get those farms. I'm having a weird issue with my cook. She's only cooking one meal, uh, and then she's not cooking anymore, and I'm not really sure why. Um, they say until look, she just cooked one meal and literally walked away. Well, she's going to transport home. Maybe she'll come back. Okay, so she seems to be cooking again. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that, man. Um, she seems to be okay now, though. Until, until, 10 and 10. Look, now she's going to harvest. And let me show you her activities. Cook, one. There's something really odd going on here, and I don't think it's my fault. Um, the only thing I could I think I could do is maybe move these up in the order. And see if that helps a little bit. Alright, there we go. So me, You know what? I'm just going to get rid of the stuff that's not the stuff I care about. Um, Alright, so those th these I am I am making, but the problem is they take grain, so I'm actually going to stop making those now. So we've got meat soup. No. We've got meat stew, meat stew and veggie stew. So get back here and cook the damn stuff, man. I really don't know what her deal is. Um, let me make sure the meat stew is not using stuff I don't want it to. Nope, it's good. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on there. Alright, well, just a little hiccup, I guess. 
Uh, I'm still not sure what's going on with MLN. I'm going to give it another day or two. Uh, what I did was I switched back the recipes to the regular recipes. The regular veggie soup and meat soup. And we'll see if, if we'll see if she works. I hope this isn't something really obvious that I'm missing. It might very well be, but I can't for the life of me think of what that could be. So we're just going to let these... Okay, so you are transporting Vivian. You're going to stop that right now. And you're going to come over here and cut that blade grass. I just... The enemies are over here. So, okay, here they go. They're going for an animal. They're going in for the attack. So we're going to draft everyone. Okay, and we will put you right there. Usually you want the sniper rifles in the back because they got more range. Kind of makes sense, right? Sure, why not? And that thing is good to go. Um, everything, as far as I can tell, should be working. We are relying on our batteries at this point, but it should be okay. Negative 31 on our batteries. They're both full, so it really shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. Now, the thing that sucks about having this ramp to get up here at this like, staircase is the enemies can come up and get me, too. Uh, because they can just walk up the staircase. The thing is, it's a lot quicker than having my guys put down a ladder. So. Okay. And the guns are going ham. There we go. The rocket launcher's doing its thing. Love it. Doesn't look like it's damaging my fence. If it is, it's not a lot. So the rocket launcher doesn't kill it a lot. It doesn't usually kill things. But it really softens them. Oh, God. It looks like it just killed a bunch of guys. Uh, it usually softens them up, though. Yeah, these guys got no effing chance. No chance! That's what you got! Undraft. Beautiful. Don't laugh now, but I have been feeling a sort of calling to a point just beyond the horizon. Some of the others have reluctantly shared with me that they've had the same experience. What we have in common, well, we're not the brightest people um, with high intellect seem to be immune to the calling. Um, yeah, let's check it out. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> well... Let's save just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just in case. I uh, override, yes. And let's go check this out. Um, call source. Okay, so he can't go. Oh, this is the one that gives you plus 10 intellect, isn't it? Okay, so who do I want? All right, who do I want to have plus 10 intellect? Probably the one with the least intellect, right? I mean, that would make sense. It makes it more versatile. Although, is she ever going to, like, use intellect? Like, am I ever not going to have her farming, cooking? Possibly. So it's either her or her. She's already got high intellect. All right, I'm going to send her. And she is actually cooking now. She's making meals. We've got a decent amount of meals. So I can send her now. Okay. Go for it. Go get smart, young lady. All right, cool. So I did put down part of the flooring for the next uh, part of the base. And, I again, I don't know how, how big I want this to be. Um, I'm going to kind of plan that out at some point, but not right now. All right. Um, Ken has been harvesting for me. So harvest that field. I don't know if he likes it, but he's going to do it. Do it because I told you. And uh, I'm going to need some more stone as well. Um, we're pretty good on bricks and stone. I'm making all my buildings now out of stone and bricks. I'm not dealing with wood anymore. And I know I have a lot of wood, but I just, you know, I don't like wood. So... Um, we're just going to kind of build this with that kind of stuff and see how it goes. Expedition is done. Um, the calling intensifies, blah, blah, blah. Come back for now. We can visit later. Go there immediately. Yes. Do that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's hope we won't regret this. And I got near the effigy, sprang life, clung, told mystic, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, weird events. I've already done this one. Yep, there we go. Intellect 10. All right, cool. And she's a little hurt, but small price to pay for Intellect 10. We'll, we'll heal you up. All right, we're in a bit of a predicament here. I'm going to draft everybody. We've got some aggressive animals. Um, one of them has already been killed. Uh, but this one right here is kind of making its way over to my camp. So we're going to get everyone up because he might... Oh, he's not close enough. Okay. All right. I'm just going to kind of screw with this guy. Can you not hit him? There you go. Alright, get behind the walls. Oh, these guys are quick. Might have been a mistake. Uh, it's definitely a mistake. Whether it's a killer mistake, I don't know. Destroyed my fence. Okay. Alright, we're coming over here. Everyone get up get upstairs. 
Get him! Get him, turrets! Ah, I really screwed this up. This should have been an easy thing. This <laughs> should have been an easy thing, but I had to go and make it difficult. Okay, fair enough. Where's the last one? Alright, he should be coming in pretty soon. Come on, buddy. Get on in here. Oh, he's still fucking with animals up here. So they spawn and they start fighting, but he just got himself killed. Well, all right then. Okay, I guess I will just uh, undraft everybody. Yeah, that should have been an easy situation. I just, I screwed that up really, really badly. All right. I don't know why this says they're attacking me. Is this thing dead or what? I don't think this thing's dead. I think they just knocked it over. Finish him! Finish him! So I think I have a plan for this uh, crafting room. It's going to be pretty cool, and it'll actually be uh, expandable at a later date, if I so choose, um, to do that. Uh, the only thing is, I don't really like these, so I'm going to deconstruct these. Um, I've got it built in my head. It's just going to take a little bit of time for me to, you know, get working what I've got in my head into the game. Um, and, it, like, you can see right here, these are going to be torn down, but th these are going to be, like, where I put the the crafting tables and everything. And I'm going to have multiple crafting tables so I can have multiple people crafting if I so choose. That should be a lot of fun. So what we'll do is we'll be making walls right here. Going through here. Actually, you know what? Pause the game. Nah, it'll be easier to do it this way. Like that. And then we're getting another wall right here. Okay. And then this is going to have to come out at least one more spot. I'm trying not to build anything that's not necessary. All right. Here we go. All right. And then this will be where I, you know, slide in the, the crafting stations. There'll be room for four crafting stations on this side, four on this side. What am I going to put over here? I don't know. Maybe some tables and stuff, some decorations of some kind. Let me just mirror what I've got over here. And I'm specifically building with brick to keep the insulation good. Uh, but, you know, I kind of, well, part of me is like, well, I have a lot of wood. Why don't I just work with wood? But, man, I'm telling you, like, there is no, like, forest around me. I grew all this wood, and it, it's not quick. And it goes quick. So, I'm going, even though I've got a thousand wood, I'm going to still, you know, hold on to that wood with your life. All right, this place is coming along really nicely. Um, I went ahead and put some windows right in here for some cool looks. And I think we're going to go ahead and finish this up. And by finish it up, I mean give these guys a lot of work to do. <laughs> the only thing I have to decide now is where to put the windows. All right. And there we go. And now that we've got everything on the inside built, um, do I want to put the... Yeah, let's put the big windows on this side too. Oh, did I use the... Um, hold on. What kind of windows did I use? Did I use the... No, I didn't. Okay. They look like jail doors. Yeah. Okay. So I used these windows right here. It's weird because... Yeah, when you do look at it like that, it looks like they've got stuff going through them, but they won't. All right. So we'll put some windows there. And then... On, now, on this side, I might want to put stuff up against this wall. So I'm going to go with right, uh, with the, um, the windows I normally like, which are the small windows. I like the way the metal ones look. Just put that right there. And let's see. One, two, three, window. One, two, three, window. Beautiful. And then there. Oops, I didn't hold down the shift key. And then another one right there. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Let's, let's have those guys build that. So, Emelyn's out there planting stuff, which is awesome. Uh, what are you doing? You're building, you are handling, and nobody's, nobody's studying or doing research. Um, so who's my research guy other than him? Is, is there anything struck? Yeah, so he doesn't, I mean, he's good at research, but it doesn't matter if he researches. So let's see. Take a look at the skills. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, yeah. I gave her the 10 intellect. It's not bad. I mean, she could do intellect too, but I need her to. Yeah, you know, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to keep that research on the back burner for a little bit longer, um, at least until this building gets done. Okay, so shit just got real. 
Um, a bunch of animals spawned in, and now they're attacking. So I need to get everyone drafted and get them in this building right here as quickly as possible. Although, it looks like they're just going to go after... Hold on. Maybe I just let my turrets take care of it. Eh, you know what? <laughs> I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Okay, yeah, all right, never mind. They just got themselves killed. <laughs> yeah, they spawned right here, and then my turrets just started shooting at them. All right, we need to get you guys inside. Actually, we don't need to get them inside. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, now you get inside. <laughs> Stupid bugs. The only good bugs are dead bug. Alright, where's the rest of them? Come on, bro. I don't have a freaking day. Let's go. And the other one's right there. And you're dead. Undraft. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I want to put a roof on this thing before I start moving everything in there. And the roof is looking pretty good. Uh, it should be done shortly. I am going to make some very small storage things in here. And I'm going to be as meticulous as I can. Like, on what gets made where. So, like, I want to put, like, a storage thing right here. Or not a storage thing, but a crafting thing right here. And make it for gas. And then that way, I could set this thing up to only accept uh, the fats and everything. Uh, so, the you know, the fats. Because we need the fats in a lot of different places. But the thing is, if you have, if you have a small storage area, it'll fill up quickly. And then the fats can go everywhere. Um, any, any amount of storage area, you should be able to say... Like, only keep this much in. Like, if this storage area, wooden storage shelf can hold 100 fats. I should be able to say, only hold 30. And then that's it. Um, that would be really nice. Um, early access would be nice if uh, if that was in the game at some point. Okay. Uh, Going to remove these fields. Um, so that stuff's right there. We were running low on hay. We ran out of sticks. Sticks are cut down over here. But I don't know if she left any of them. Uh, she did not, so we got to cut some more sticks. And I could just turn wood into sticks, but, you know, I'd, I'd rather just kind of cut the sticks. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right. And also I am uh, cutting up these animals because I was out of insect meat. And is the roof getting done? The roof is finished. Beautiful. So let's take this and move it in here. And we'll put it right there. I don't know if anyone actually do that. Let's just see if anyone does that, like, on their own. Because I don't know if they will. Hey, easy there, buddy. I mean, actually, honestly, uh, Raka should. There he goes. Alright, so that's going to be where we're going to make gas. Now, they're already starting to put stuff on here, so that's not good. Um, deselect all. Deselect all. Okay. So, like I said, gas will be made here, so this thing is only supposed to take... Uh, raw food, oils and fats, right? Because isn't gas made out of both? I think so. And it can only hold so much oils and fats. Uh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to make a, um, a storage chest. I'm kind of curious on what the difference between the storage chest and the storage shelves are. So we're going to make a storage chest right... Oops. We're going to make a storage chest. Storage chest right there. And see how that goes. All right, running power lines out. And I'm uh, using the good power lines now because these things are, uh, they look cooler. And that's what really matters. Now, they also, um, uh, they also take more, more, uh, damage before they get destroyed. 300 integrity or 300 hit points compared to, like, what, 100? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, I don't think that I'm, like, having storage in here is going to work. I was thinking, okay, so I want oils and fats in here, but I can't only have oils and fats in here um and i can't because like i won't be able to have the oils and fats in here and in here and have it work you know what this central area is supposed to be for storage so let's just make it for storage i'll have these extra storages here but um just just for the lulls i mean this is supposed to be the storage area the whole idea is they come everybody can come from the middle to get stuff and that's what i want so that's what i get all right, so you are doing your job. That's good. We should have enough food to get us through the rest of the rest of next winter. So shouldn't be too much of a problem. I do have some lights being put up in here. 
And I will also make some extra uh, crafting benches in here. I'd rather have multiple crafting... Oh, I can make metal. Huh? Nah, I would. Um, I, I like having multiple crafting benches. Because, like, I don't know about you guys. When I go into a crafting bench and I've got, like, 50 things queued up, it's just, it's just a pain in the ass. I, I really don't enjoy it. So I'd rather split it up between crafting benches. I know it's a little bit more expensive. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, tailoring benches. We'll go over here. Oops. Tailoring benches. Like. There we go. So a couple of regular crafting benches. A couple of tailing benches. Uh, we've got one of these soldering benches. I guess I can make another soldering bench. And we'll just hold this other room off for now and see kind of where this goes. But um, I like it. Hey, man, make more lights. Make more lights, guys. Come on. All right. So now that we've got a couple of tailoring benches, we, kinda, we can have one for winter wear and one for summer wear instead of having everything in one spot. Um, let me go ahead and set this up. One, four. All right. Jackets. We don't have the... Uh, we don't seem to have the summer wear yet. I don't know when we get that. Um, I did I did have it last season. I don't know where it is now. Oh, I see summer pants. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that there. Summer pants. Um, oh, yeah. We have summer shoes. Okay. So we do have some of the summer wear. And fur cap. Okay. So sweater. Until, 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 until. So that's all good. And then we'll set this up. Um, T-shirt. Shirt. Is there a certain shirt that's good for winter? Or good for summer? Um, heat tolerance is 35. Heat tolerance is 35. With cold tolerance. So I guess we'll just make some shirts. So we don't have to... Because like a lot of times I have the ladies to like just take off their shirts. Because <laughs> I don't have like a shirt for that. Like if they're wearing a sweater and they're overheating, I have to have them take it off. It's not my it's not my rule. I'm just doing what I gotta do. Doing what I gotta do to survive. Um, summer shoes are good. And also the baseball caps are good for summer as well. Uh, Alright, so another thing we should do is we should grab this and move it over into here. And I don't really know where I want to put it. Um, I guess I can put it right here. You know, it should probably go on this side. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. All right, so we have uh, summer clothes, winter clothes all set up. Uh, let's take a look at the crafting benches. So we've got gas. Um, maybe one should just be for weapons. The thing is, I'm not going to be using these for weapons very much. So I don't think... I'll do gas and veggie leather. I don't think there's any reason to keep the bark, so I'll do the veggie leather. Veggie leather forever and i don't really see anything else i want to do here i guess i can make bandages with cloth with cloth scrap um i definitely want to set up bandages though um to 20 and i think that's just about it in here cloth with with yeah we'll turn scrap cloth into cloth and i think that looks pretty good look at ken man ken's going to town already uh we got these two set up you know, we could put... Nah, I'm going to leave this one. This is going to be a weapons bench. We will be ha we will have access to weapons pretty soon. As a matter of fact, in order to get access to weapons, I need to have someone beginning to do research. All right, we've got a self-destruct alert we're going to go check out in the morning. Um, Ken has reached crafting four. He was crafting two when I started, like today. And now he's crafting four. He is just going ham, and he likes it too. Although he doesn't seem very happy, but... That's okay. New insect nest. Yeah. I think there's one relatively close to me. Which is good. No. I don't know. I'm going to have to look around. You want an insect ne nest close to you because you want to take it out. Although you don't want it too close to where it's going to like cause you issues. But yeah, you want one that's in your general area. Yeah, right there. That should be good enough. Because uh, you want to take them out because you can just get a, butt a butt ton of carbon from it. Once you take them out, you um you mine their nest and you get like a couple thousand carbon or something like that. All right, let's go ahead and send out an expedition to the self-destruct one. It's only good for a day. 
Um, who do I want to send? Tough call. Tough call. We'll send Ken. If he gets any metal, he'll come back with twice the amount. Uh, you know, it's funny. Like People are like, I don't take Ken. I take this person. I take that person. Man, getting double scrap metal is like really important to me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd have a hard time not taking Ken. So, Ken's my, Ken's my man. He's my MVP. I think we need to get down some more traps as well. I have been neglecting these traps, and it could come back to bite me in the ass. So let's put down a few more of these. Damn it. That's why I don't like doing it. It's a pain. Should we just hold the button and just drag them all over? All right. There we go. All right, that's all I can take. <laughs> that's all I can take right now. I need to do, a, like, a couple rows every once in a while before I get annoyed. <laughs> All right, nobody's going to build them anyway, so. Well, Vivian's bringing stuff out there, at least. All right, so we are back on the science train. Uh, what do we want to do after nanotube printing? I kind of want to start making guns. But, uh, yeah, I need to get my first, uh, yeah, carbon nanotubes before I can do that. Let's do um, balloon optimization sleep training. This will take half the amount of fuel... And this will make, mean people can sleep less. Man, I can take an hour away from them uh, when sleeping. We'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah. We're going to be fine for the winter. Like, this stuff's all all ready to rock. Oh, uh, that is wonderful. We're going to be eating like kings. Damn hell-ass kings. Stupid game making me make tough decisions. Uh, he, he can get one of these. We can get strange-looking solar panel cell. I believe people told me that this is really, really good solar panels. Battery optimization. You know, it's helpful, but... Not as good as those solar panels. Uh, fuel fermentation. I don't know. I'm going to go with the solar panels. Bring me back my solar panels. So I don't know if I can make them now or I have to wait until he gets back. No, I have to wait until he gets back. Yeah, I never got those solar panels last uh, season. People told me they were, like, ridiculously good. All right, here we are. Another set of aggressive animals. They should be coming in pretty soon. Uh, my guys are sleeping, but with the angle, I should be able to let them sleep. Uh, these guys shouldn't come in too quickly. I should be able to get over here in time without much issue. Let's see how our power is doing. We are relying quite heavily on our batteries right now. You know what? Why don't we just go ahead and turn on our generators? And we'll pick the happiest person. Draft them. Wake them up. Move them over here. Come on. Undraft them. Uh, I guess she's going to work on it. Currently unavailable. Okay, um, there you go. I guess I didn't wait for you. Well, I guess I was paused so she was still drafted, so. Alright, you know what? Let's just draft everybody. They got a good night's sleep. Let's bring them over here. I will have them work on crops while we wait. So you will undraft and harvest the glitter caps. Um, you will undraft. Actually, you know what? Can all of you do the same thing? Undraft. Harvest, uh, cut glitter, glitter caps, harvest glitter cap field. Will they all do it? No, I don't think they'll all do it. Hold on. Um, harvest glitter cap. Will it say, oh, reserve. So yeah, only one person can do that. All right, fair enough. So you three will stay drafted and just stay over here. Actually, might as well get them in position. There's no point in waiting. Um, Ken, you're going to go right there. You're going to go right there. You're going to go right there. And she will continue. See, now this is efficient. I might just let her... You know what? Let's save just in case something goes wrong. But I'm going to let her uh, just, you know, work. I really wish I didn't have to, like, use my guys for this, you know? So, we'll see. The thing is, I'm afraid she's going to stop and go to eat or something. So i got to keep a close eye on her. All right, where are they? There they are. Yeah, I really got to keep a close eye on her. Oh, shit. You know what? I don't like this. This is making me nervous. So let's see what, how this works. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right, let's just get everyone in position. Yep, so he's gonna, they're gonna stay there. I wonder if I can hit him with my rocket launcher. Uh, it will.
will mess up my own fence, but I wonder how much. Let's see what happens. It might, it might kill crops, too. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I just blew up my own fence. <laughs> Alright, I pretty much... I thought that might work, work out like that, but... That's alright. I, I wanted to find out. Alright, so you guys need to concentrate on these jackasses. Back here. Alright. Shoot him. All right, you're done. Yeah, these guys are toast. Oh shit, they're all coming in. Oh, a lot of them coming in through there. All right, well, they're still toast. I didn't realize there were so many of them. You know what, guys? Get inside. Get inside. Get him, laser. All right, so that worked out really poorly, but that's okay. It's all fun. If everything went, like, perfectly, it would just be boring. Alright, so yeah, having her work did not... I think what happens is they saw her, and then it was... It was off to the races with them. Really? I should have, like, a... a theoretically, I should have a raised platform around this entire fence. I'm gonna think about that. Alright, guys, either way, that was awesome. We survived. A couple people got hurt. That makes me happy, because it was fun. And, uh, don't tell Vivian or Emily I said that. Uh, but I'm going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Mm -hmm.